YouTube, what's up? Jonathan here from Ultimate Mac Reviews, and yes, I am back in town, so I'm going to be starting up with the tutorials again. Today, I have a tutorial for you guys on how to export screen flow videos in 1280 by 720 HD. So, first of all, the link to download this, I really like this wallpaper because it goes very nicely with very many docs. So, to download this wallpaper, link will be in the description, so go and check that out. And now getting into this video, so right here, I have a pre-recorded video that I made just to show you guys the process. So first I'm going to play this video in, <coughs> sorry, in normal quality, and then I'll put it in HD. Hey YouTube, this is going to be a test to show how ScreenFlow works in HD when I film the tutorial. So I'm just going to be moving my mouse around the screen to show off some stuff to see how it looks in HD so here's the wallpaper Let's go through those open up finder and that's it okay so that was my brief kind of HD what the video that I'm gonna be putting in HD so the first thing you guys are gonna do when you wanna export a video in HD is you're gonna go to file you're gonna go down to export and then it will come up with this menu so what you're gonna do is you don't change anything here you just rename the video so I'm gonna name it HD test okay so now that it's named HD test I'm gonna go down here to customize I'm gonna go into under video settings I'm going to go here and make sure it's checked on H.264 so I'm gonna click on that now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to change the quality of the compressor to best. It does take a. It does make it a little bit of a bigger file, but it's worth it when it comes to recording in HD. You're going to go down to OK, then filter. You'll see that you don't need anything here, so don't even bother mess with filter. Then you're going to go to size. Now this is very very important. You're going to go down to dimensions, and you're going to go to 1280 by 720. HD so you're gonna click on that everything else stays the same okay now you're gonna go down to the sound area click on settings for sound then you're gonna make sure it's AAC stereo left and right the rate stays the same I put the quality to better it does make it a bigger file like I said before but it's worth it then you're gonna go down to the target bit rate now this is why some people's videos lag so what you're going to do is you're going to move it down to 192. And then push OK and then your video will not lag. Push OK again. And then down here on the dimensions you're going to push scale to custom size. You're going to make it 1280 by 720 which is the HD size. And then you're going to do export. So it does take a little bit longer to export. So I'm going to... it. Just bear with me here. So once this finishes exporting I'll show you guys the file and you will see a difference between some files that are not in HD compared to ones that are in HD which I'll show you right now let me find a video file okay so there is my last video now this was exported in HD so you'll see down here that it is 112 0.9 megabytes for a hey YouTube what's up watching for a three minute video so that's a pretty big file for a three minute video now let me go down here and find my what's in my doc video get info and then you'll see this is only 7.7 .7 megabytes that is a humongous difference and if you go over here you'll see that it is three minutes as well so that is a pretty big difference. It does take longer to upload, but it definitely is worth it. So I highly recommend you guys do this if you're planning on making some videos in ScreenFlow while recording in HD. So you guys can see it's about to finish exporting. So there we go. Now that's done, I'll play you guys the video in HD right here. And then you already see the difference that it is 
in a a lot bigger room. Let me play it from hey, YouTube. This is going to be a test to show how screen flow works. In and HD. you can already tell the difference. It's a when, when I filmed the difference. tutorial, so, so I'm just going to be minimize. Let me see if it works with minimize finder. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to move this down here. So you guys can already see a nice difference, especially with the dock. The dock is a lot cleaner. It does make a bigger picture, and when you push HD, it does enlarge. So I highly recommend this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make screen flow videos, export in HD. Hope this helps. Thank you guys for all the support on this channel. You guys are awesome. And thank you for watching. This has been Jonathan from Ultimate Mac Reviews, signing out.